that is coming ashore. Let's go now to CTV News Atlantic Chief Meteorologist Kaylin Mitchell, who's been tracking it closely for us this morning. Uh, Kaylin, thank you for joining us this morning. And I guess, is this good news that it's been downgraded or is it still packing a punch? Thank you for joining me for this update on post-tropical storm Lee. Now, the winds around the center of Lee are still equivalent to a Category 1 hurricane, but it has been declared post-tropical because of the change in the structure of the storm. It's larger, it's more asymmetrical, it is starting to develop weather fronts. It's about 100 kilometers away from the southwest of Nova Scotia, expected to make a landfall right around the boundary between Yarmouth and Shelburne County, fairly close to noon. It is closing that distance very quickly as it is moving northward at near 40 kilometers per Per hour. Here's the latest track on Lee and you can see its approach by around noon towards the southwest of Nova Scotia. From there as this strong post tropical storm taking a path across the southwest of that province moving over the Bay of Fundy and then eventually over western parts of Prince Edward Island before entering the Gulf of St. Lawrence as we move through this weekend. Very large storm system, very widespread impacts when it comes to the wind and the rain. As we take a look at some maximum reported sustained winds so far around the Maritimes. There have been a number of areas that have reached tropical storm force winds. That's a one minute sustained wind of 63 kilometers per hour or higher, including many areas of the Atlantic coastline of mainland Nova Scotia, a little bit more widespread in Halifax County, as well as around southwestern parts of the province. Additionally, coastal Charlotte County in New Brunswick has also reported some tropical storm force winds. Now, those sustained winds, of course, are accompanied by much higher gusts in a number of cases for those areas. They've been reported in excess of 80, 90, and even over 100 kilometers per hour at times. Halifax International Airport with a peak wind gust of 117 kilometers per hour. A hurricane force gust would be 120 kilometers per hour. Unofficially, a hurricane force gust has been reported from a personal weather station on Grand Manan in New Brunswick. And a hurricane watch does still extend for Grand Manan and coastal Charlotte County in New Brunswick, as well as around the southwest of Nova Scotia and extending up through Halifax County. A tropical storm warning remains in effect for a larger portion of the Maritimes. While the winds in the southwestern corner of Nova Scotia will ease as the center of the storm approaches by around this afternoon, generally speaking, the winds will be increasing in speed for many parts of the Maritimes for this afternoon, remaining very high into Saturday evening before gradual diminishment west to east Saturday night into Sunday morning. There'll be a further diminishment of the winds through the day on Sunday and into the start of next week. We also have bands of heavy rain that continue to move in. These are expected to be setting up in a band southwest to northeast across New Brunswick as we move through this afternoon into this evening and tonight. There will be a risk of some localized flooding and flash flooding for those areas as some rainfall totals could approach 50 to 100 millimeters. A storm surge warning remains in effect around the Atlantic coastline of Nova Scotia. We are approaching high tides as we're heading through the late morning hours. I'm already starting to receive some reports and video of some intense wave action around areas of the coast, including this video from Graham Reed coming in out of Jordan Bay in Shelburne County, Nova Scotia.